Here's the thing, you horrible harpies. As you know, we just finished learning equations for present value and future value of income streams. And that's when you get money in a sort of continuous flow rather than in one single chunk. And now here's the thing, whenever math throws a new equation at you, then you may be asked to find the value of the equation, like you're gonna plug all your stuff in and see what number comes out, or you can also be asked to solve for different things in that equation. So, before I yak anymore, let's go on and look at an example. Let's say I receive a constant income stream that I invest at 5% for six years. This gives me a present value of $9,000, and the question is, how much was my income stream? All right, now, dudes, the two key words here are income stream and present value. So what you should do immediately based on reading this question is just write down the formula for the present value of an income stream. And it looks like this. Present value equals integral 0 to m, the income stream, times e to the minus rt dt. Okay, now as always, because we know we want to use this formula, let's see what we can plug in. The first thing we can plug in is the fact that the interest rate is 5%. So this becomes... Um, uh, uh, integral 0 to m s of t e to the minus 0 0.05 t dt. All right, that's cool, and that's just us plugging in 0 0.05 for the interest rate. Now, the other thing we know is that uh, we're going to be investing this crap for six years, and that means my m value is just six. Bam, look at that. This is getting better all the time. Um, Okay, and the last number they chuck at us is this $9,000, and the $9,000 is the present value. They say that my present value for all of this crap is 9,000, and so that goes in the place of present value. 9,000 equals stuff. And uh, dudes, here's the thing. They also say that this income stream is constant, and what constant means is that it's just a number. There are no T's or anything like that in there. So instead of s of t, which might be some crazy random function, we can replace that with just a single number. And this, we'll just call it s, but we're going to remember that s is a constant. Okay, dudes, this is the equation that we've set up just by plugging in everything that the problem gives us. And now we want to solve this puppy. But here's how you're going to solve it. We have a constant s. And so remember, s could be like 100 or 72.4 or anything like that. But whatever it is, it's a fixed number that has no t's in it. And because it doesn't have any t's in it, because it's just a fixed number, we can pull that crap outside the integral. So we can get something like this. S times integral from 0 to 6, e to the minus 0 0.05 t dt. Now what we have is something that we can actually plug into a calculator, dudes. So if we take that junk and we calculate it up, then here's what our equation becomes. 9,000 equals s times... Um, 5.18, 5.18. All right, and now dudes, if you want to solve for s, it's easy. You just divide 5.18 by both sides, 5.18, 5.18, and you get s equals something like 1,736. That's the ugliest and fattest six I've ever seen. 6.23. All right, dudes, so that's the final answer. And what that means is, in order to get the present value of $9,000, you would have to get $1,736.23 every year split up in a sort of continuous fashion. So one more time, all we did for this puppy is we noticed that they were talking about an income stream and a present value. So we wrote down the present value formula for an income stream. Then we just plugged in all the crap that we could think of plugging in, and solved for the unknown guy. And the last thing that helped us solve for this unknown guy is the fact that s was a constant. So because it's a constant, we were able to bring it outside the integral. And that made all the difference. That meant that for the rest of the problem, we could just actually plug that simpler integral into the calculator and then just divide and everything was all cake.